All right, so today we're going to develop a pretty basic swim timing template for your video display. Once you've launched a, launched a display link plus, you will click on the template editor. From there, we're going to create a new template, then set the template to the size of your video display. In this case, it's 416 by 224. We'll start by adding our swim timing elements by expanding swimming on the left hand side. We'll add each element by clicking on it and then dragging and dropping it onto the black screen. We're going to add our lanes first. Drag, drop, and then select the number of lanes or modules for your pool. You can play around with the number of pixels between each and set it up to your liking. Once you have that set, you'll drag and drop it where you want it to be placed on the video board. Next, we'll add the swimmer names. You're going to use the same number of modules that you use for your lanes. The pixels between will automatically carry over from your previous selection. Again, drag and drop for placement. We're going to make this wider by pulling out the right hand side of the box. Now we're going to add our swimmer affiliations. And again, just drag and drop. And then we're going to see our split times, our lap splits. So we'll put those on here as well. Those are always kind of fun to see. Then we're going to add our running and our, and our final times on here next. And again, we're just clicking on that and dragging and dropping over on the black screen. Lastly, we're going to add a place to show the final times at the end of the race. You can change the color on the right hand side if you want to. Uh, this time we'll select red. Actually, we're going to switch this template to display alternating colors for each lane. You'll just go in and click on the box that you want to change and then change the color on the right hand side of the screen. Next, we're going to add our meet title, and this pulls in from HiTech or your meet management software. Place it wherever you'd like. And then we're going to add our event and our heat. Now we're going to want to label event heat so that people know what they're looking at. So we're going to navigate to and expand core items on the left hand side. Select and drag static text over the screen and then update the text on the right hand side. Kind of overlap so we're going to move it over just a little bit. And again for the heat. Change your text on the right hand side and move it over so that everything lines up nicely. Now we're going to save our template into our display link library and give it a name. We're just going to call this swimming. And then next we're going to change this to a transparent background in case we want to overlay it on video or animation during the competition. So we're just going to go to Options, Make Transparent, and then File, Save As. And I usually just do the same name with Transparent or Trans at the end of it. And that is as easy as that.